It happened. It finally happened. I've been saying even past this season, going back to last season, that Quentin Grimes needed to come off the bench for the New York Knicks to be more impactful. And finally, Tom Thibodeau made the decision last night to start Dante DiVincenzo and bench Quentin Grimes. And Quentin Grimes actually let us know how that conversation with Tom Thibodeau went and his current thoughts and feelings about coming off of the bench. We're going to break down all of this and so much more today. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Quentin Grimes was benched for Dante DiVincenzo. Honestly, guys, for me, this was inevitable. It was absolutely inevitable. You could not continue to put Quentin Grimes out there each and every game with the starters, seeing him have zero points, zero impact, being a negative for the Knicks each and every time he's out there, watching his confidence go down each and every game. You just can't justify the Knicks and the coach running Quentin Grimes out there each and every game, watching him fold on offense each and every game. I know what he gives you on defense. I know in regards to his defense, he's one of the best defenders on the Knicks, and he oftentimes guards the best defenders on the opposite team. I understand that. But he cannot be only a great defender. He needs to also be a great player on offense as well too. He needs to be able to do both. And if he's not doing both, and his impact is getting less and less and less, and he's playing less minutes each and every game, then it's time for a change. I knew the Knicks needed to do this since last year. But even going into this year, where I gave Grimes a fresh chance and opportunity, I knew from game seven that Grimes needed to come off the bench. And thankfully, it took a little bit of time though, but now Tom Thibodeau knows exactly what I do. That Quentin Grimes is way more impactful off the bench than he ever could be with the starters because he gets more confidence and plays more free off the bench than he does with the starters. I'm not sure why, but I think he just has a more of a hesitation playing with the starters and given what they do and their impact to the game that he doesn't want to make a wrong move and affect the flow of the game for them. So I think just with the reserves, he just feels a little bit more comfortable and that aids to his confidence. And this is what I saw yesterday that made me smile because honestly, it was something I wanted to do and I wanted the Knicks to do for a very long time. Dante DiVincenzo is replacing Quentin Grimes in the Knicks starting lineup. When I saw that notification come on my phone, I was smiling from ear to ear. I felt vindicated in a way, validated that each and every game I came up here and told you guys that Dante should be starting in place of Grimes just because of the fit. No favoritism, just fit. Lo and behold, Tom Thibodeau makes the move. And in my opinion, Grimes looked amazing off the bench. And Dante DiVincenzo, even though it was the first game and he didn't look great, I thought he gave the Knicks exactly what he needed to. He spaced the floor, he drew defenders toward him, and he helped open up the paint a little bit more for the drivers in Jalen, RJ, and of course, Julius Randle. So I thought that was a great bonus and a win for the Knicks, even though the box score won't show it. But let's hear from Quentin Grimes and what the exact conversation he had with Tom Thibodeau was about being benched. Shout out to Steve Popper from Newsday for giving us the following information. Quentin Grimes on the conversation he had with coach Tom Thibodeau before the decision was made for him to come off of the bench. He kind of let me know to try to get me in a better rhythm, to get me in a better flow, to try to get me how I was playing last year. He felt like it was the best thing to do, and I agree with him. It's a good thing. I'm going to do whatever he needs me to do, really. Grimes insisted that he is on board with the change and the chance to get more opportunities playing with the second unit. According to Grimes, I'm cool with it, doing whatever Thibs needs me to do to help the team win. He felt like that was the best thing, so I'm just doing whatever they need for me right now. It might be better, but like I said, I try to come in and do whatever I had to do to help the team win going into every game, really. Quentin Grimes may be young, but he handled that benching like a complete professional. He could have went a lot of different directions about it. He obviously vented his frustrations on how he was being utilized. And that led to him being benched. At least that's how it looks like anyways. Because he was a starter. Talked about how he was feeling and his opportunities. And then was benched. 
That's the perception. Whether or not that was the actual scenario, that's how it looks. Either way, he was benched, but now he gives us this response saying that he's cool with it, he likes the change, and the conversation he had with Tom Thibodeau was that it would help him get better in rhythm and also give him more opportunities. And honestly, if you watched the game last night, that's exactly what happened. And he looked good. He looked really good off the bench for the Knicks, like I knew he would. I thought he was going to look like the old Grimes that we saw last year, and we saw flashes of that. And he had another great outing on the bench. I think it was his second best performance of the season, and it came off the bench. This is what Quentin Grimes did. 19 minutes, 13 points, season second highest, 5 of 10 shooting, 3 of 7 from the 3, and he was a plus 12 for team second best. Oh yeah, and sprinkle in some confidence and some aggression. Bingo. This was the Quentin Grimes we needed to see, that the Nick fans wanted to see, that I wanted to see since the season began. Because this is the Quentin Grimes I was watching during the offseason work out with J.J. Redick. This is the Grimes that J.J. Redick was given so much praise to during the offseason on his podcast. This was the Grimes coming off the screens, taking the shot, taking contact, driving to the basket, finding his teammates. Man, I love to watch this Quentin Grimes play basketball. And he was playing more free, playing more of the game that we wanted to see him play. It's obvious and clear. When he plays with the starters, he's inhibited. Given what he's done with the bench and this stat line here, it's absolutely clear. He is more comfortable playing with the bench because he feels more confident with those players than he does with the starters. Just playing with that starting unit. I don't know if it's Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, or a combination of the two with R.J. Barrett. But it just doesn't work for Quentin Grimes. He doesn't see the ball enough. He doesn't get enough touches. His confidence is down. And he feels like he has to make the shot to stay in with that unit. And if that doesn't happen, he's going to get pulled. No player in the NBA can play with that pressure on them. Not one. And when you're having a bad game or a bad stretch of games, and that's the type of pressure that's on you, it's only going to make a bad situation worse. And that's what we've been seeing from Quentin Grimes. It's been a breath of fresh air watching him come off the bench. I know it's only been one game, but I think Grimes moving forward for this Knicks team coming off the bench absolutely works. And I think Dante DiVincenzo starting with this Knicks team works too. The stat sheet may not tell you that Dante DiVincenzo was a great starter for the Knicks because clearly 22 minutes, six points, two of six shooting, two of five from three, and a negative 21 tied with Brunson for team lowest. So clearly when you see those numbers, you're looking at Dante DiVincenzo and you're thinking to yourself, why would you start him? He wasn't that great as a starter. If anything, he did just as bad as Quentin Grimes is. If you're looking just at the stat sheet, then that's what your conclusion is going to be. But if you watch the game, you already know why Dante DiVincenzo starting helps the Knicks. His chemistry with Brunson, that's a check, helps the Knicks. His chemistry with the starters, that's already apparent. That helps the Knicks. He stretches the floor. He shoots when open. He drives to the basket. He has high basketball IQ. He knows when to pass. He knows when to shoot. And he knows when to drive. He is the best and perfect complement in terms of players the Knicks have that they should start over Quentin Grimes in the starting unit. He just makes so much sense. And I think over the course of this season, as Tom Thibodeau continues to start him, you're going to see this impact more and more. He's going to make the Knicks better and that lethal, solidified top team in the Eastern Conference. And I think Quentin Grimes coming off the bench is going to make the Knicks bench that much stronger and going to take pressure off of quickly to be the leading force off the bench. Mark my words on this. This move is absolutely going to help the Knicks. I promise you that. But Quentin Grimes also was recently asked about his contract extension and if he's thinking about that right now amid his offensive struggles. And this is exactly what Quentin Grimes had to say about that. Nah, you can't think like that too far ahead because that can mess with your whole mental. So I've got to support the cast around me, my family, to keep me grounded. Just go out there and do whatever I can to help this team win, and everything will take care of itself. That's a great response by Quentin Grimes. Shout out again to Steve Popper of Newsday for giving us this great report. 
I don't believe him fully because I do think to some degree he is thinking about a payday. He is thinking about his contract and he knows the better he plays and the more he plays, the bigger his payday is going to be. So I think to some degree, some level, it's on his mind. It may not be the sole motivating force for him, but I think to some level, he is thinking about it. But I think honestly, the Knicks making this change does help the Knicks. I'm glad they did it. And the Knicks are still needing another piece because clearly, even though they made this change, they still are having a hard time beating the top tier teams in the East or really in the entire NBA. So because of that, it's obvious they're still going to need to make a trade. Whether or not Quentin Grimes is going to be the main focal point of that trade is still yet to be seen. But I do know, like everybody else knows, the Knicks absolutely have to make a trade. Even if they have to make a trade for a role player, they need to make that trade ASAP. They need to bring more help to this team, more help in the terms of people who can shoot, people who can help space the floor, and more size. The Knicks need that type of player. And they better be looking at the marketplace right now, which reports would indicate they are doing for that player to trade for come the trade deadline. They have Evan Fournier's contract to dangle around the entire NBA. So they need to utilize that because if they don't, bringing Fournier into this season was a mistake because it absolutely did nothing. But what about you guys? What do you think about this shocking move done by the New York Knicks and Tom Thibodeau? Benching Quentin Grimes in favor of Dante DiVincenzo. Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.